report, the Justice Committee report on the IPP sentence, which was abolished in 2012. And I am regularly um, approached by families who have young men still serving these sentences. And in, indeed, the Justice Committee described um, the IPP sentence as irredeemably flawed. Uh, and just so we can get this in some context, there are 2,926 people who are still imprisoned under the IPP sentence. 1,434 of them were recalled to custody. There are 608 in custody who, for over a decade, beyond their original tariff, and 188 of them were imprisoned for two years or less as the original offence. I mean, I was horrified when I read that, and I wanted yeah, to get <laughs> both of your observations about the IPP sentence, even though it's been abolished. Let, let's start yeah. with you, Nick, and then I'll ask Bruce. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be brief and say, well, um, Lord Brown, the former Simon Brown, who we remember, described IPP as the single greatest stain on our criminal justice system, and I'd agree with him. So that's the verdict. I think another statistic that's worth adding is that there have been 74 suicides in prison by those subject to imprisonment for public protection. Wow. And you don't have to be a psychiatrist to work out the contributing factor, at least maybe to that high suicide rate, the fact that they are serving a sentence without a closure to it. Um, mm -hmm. That must be a pretty dreadful thing. Um, and I'm working at the moment with um, the two uh, organisations of uh, prisoners' families that are devoted to trying to get something done about this, who are UN GRIP or UNGRIP and the IPP Committee uh, in Action uh, .com. Some of the listeners might like to look at it. And they're trying to get somewhere with Parliament. And, mm -hmm. But as my last sort of comment on all of that, the great difficulty is IPP is a product of the politicisation of the sentencing system. And you can't dismantle it unless you depoliticise it. And to the constitutional lawyers, and there may be some listening, um, that's a serious problem because the executive and the legislature have occupied the territory of what used to be the independent judiciary. And it's very difficult for them without political costs to get out. Um, today, yeah. um, the new prime minister said that the Home Secretary, controversial appointment, not going into that, <laughs> will be cracking.